be a comparison between dun 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 the Marc Jacobs the tote bag this is actually called the blanket tote and this is the medium size not the small size not the micro size or the mini the medium so it's pretty big I actually got this for myself this is gonna be for sale because it's really big and I'm kind of learning that I, if I'm gonna get a big bag I think it has to be like a a bucket bag kind of style but this one is not for me so this will be available if you guys are interested it's sold out so get it um but we're gonna compare the medium tote bag i got my sister this cutie patootie this is the micro um tote in this fur as you can see we got i got her this one and this one but we're going to compare these two with this big bumba jumba bag which is pretty colossal but yeah <laughs> so if you guys want to see this comparison video then uh, please keep watching all right so here are both bags side by side as you can see very different i'm going to go ahead and put the dimensions of the micro size for you guys and the dimensions of the medium size tote um, from looking at it, the micro size here has silver tone hardware, as you can see, and it has like this crinkled strap. This one has gold tone hardware, and what's really nice about it is that it does have the Michael Kors branded on there. Michael Kors, I'm such an airhead, and this is Marc Jacobs. Sorry, guys. Um, you do have, like I said, these woven handles. Um, you have the really pretty um, thick leather patch here and then you have let's see these woven sides here is the bottom for you guys so it does have a black flat bottom and it is like a nice hard base this one is just there's all crinkled when you look at both of them here and then here's the back side of that little one. Let me see if I can move that for you guys. And then for the side here, you have this little loop so you can tuck it in like so. But as you can see, there's nothing in this. It starts to fold over a little bit. Um, it does have structure, but I would definitely recommend a bag organizer if you can get one. See, nothing in here. This bag's never been used. It's just how this type of fabric molds. Um, and then very beautiful though. This is gorgeous. This looks very luxurious. I would definitely recommend this as a dupe to the Christian Christian Dior book tote just because the print looks very similar. Here's the other side. And we're gonna see what are some things that can fit in this bag. Okay, so I have an iPad mini here. This definitely fits in here. This is my sister's Apple iPad mini. This can fit, um, as you can see, that doesn't fit right, but it will fit in there when you put it this way. Um, I have the Galaxy, the newest Galaxy tablet, um, and I have the case inside, but this is kind of how it looks. Um, I'm going to see if this fits. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so that definitely doesn't fit. I, it is a little bit longer than the bag so I, I don't know i think this is 14 inches i wouldn't think maybe a macbook air would fit in this i think it would be too tight and it would damage the bag itself so maybe if you have an ipad mini that would be perfect to fit in there but i wouldn't recommend maybe a macbook air 13 inch or the galaxy i think this is 14 inches um i have a little travel toothpaste kit um, and I carry with me, so that fits in there. I'm just going to use this for reference, a little coach zip around wallet. This can be equivalent to like the Louis Vuitton zippy or another wallet about this size. So I'm just going to toss that in here. I have this little wristlet by MCM, which is a really good size, and I'm just going to show you guys that can fit if you have a water bottle or a flask that perfectly no doubt will fit in there this is kind of how it's looking um i have a glasses case i just got from target 
and of course if you have sunglasses that will fit this is how it looks so far you can definitely fit more things let me put in the ipad mini in here side like a let me squeeze it in ah struggling there we go so that fits in there and then you can add more stuff mind you you still have a back zipper pocket right here and you can put your iphone um if you wear like tampons pads put it back there you also have a two little foam pouch pockets you can put pens scissors your lip gloss powder in here and yeah so i feel like this is definitely a good size it does feel heavy obviously but that's why you have this really nice guitar strap to you so it won't feel as weighted and you have these really durable handles like this feels like it will not come off or you know show where it will hold your bag down but like i said i wouldn't pack this bag too much just because i wouldn't want to wear out this beautiful blanket style but it looks very pretty so that is everything that can fit in there here we go ahead and we're gonna do a uh, mod shots of this so here is it on the crook of my arm it does fit i am five three and a half so you can put this over your arm and then let's do it the shoulder strap wow this is really i'm not gonna lie this is really cute i just don't see myself using this but here is how that looks on my shoulder on the back side Ta -ta. very comfy with this burning strap um i think it looks really great um crossbody you can wear this but i would wear this like on one shoulder so super comfortable and then let me show you guys as you can see i highly recommend this one hands down over this one this feels so lightweight and just so cute it doesn't have a webbing strap it's just like a crinkled leather but this one's very pretty those are those two side by side. As you can see, one is like the child and the other one's like the mom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison video between the micro and the medium size. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.